Hello, everyone, and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us. I want you to take time to share this out on your social media platform, especially in light of the fact that so many people are writing off Bible prophecy and the coming of the Lord as if it doesn't matter. It's just one of those other things that people talk about that really isn't going to happen. But as sure as Jesus said in John 14, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there you may be also. It's important for you to be able to know what the signs and the seasons are concerning the next great event on the calendar of God, and that is the rapture of the church. It is not an unprecedented event. In fact, there are some eight different raptures that takes place throughout the Word of God from Genesis all the way through to the rapture of the church. And it's important for us to be able to see what's taking place. In our world we're living in right now, with wars, rumors of wars, all kinds of earthquakes and events that are taking place that are bringing uh, the entirety of the world to a culmination, to, a, to an inflection point, where the fact is that Jesus will come and intervene in the middle of that in what is called the rapture of the church, being caught up. That is, every Bible-believing, every Christian on this people planet will be caught up in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. The Bible bears this out, and so do the signs of the times. So why then is it so important for us to be able to study Bible prophecy and have an understanding of what's taking place according to the Word of God and according to what God is saying is going to be the events, the seasons that we're in prior to Jesus Christ's return? Well, I want to take a few more of these, uh, and you can be able to get this entire pamphlet. We'll download it for you uh, so that you can download it and get it for yourself, I believe it will be very helpful to you. Here's another one that you need to know why we should study Bible prophecy. Number five, prophetic scriptures reveal what God is doing and how to be prepared for future events. That next great event on the calendar of God that is a signless event for that matter is the rapture of the church, where the Bible says the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. How important that it is that we are ready for what the Bible calls the blessed hope and prophetic scriptures reveal that to us. Here's another one. Prophetic truth strengthens the faith, our faith, in time when the world is shaking with fear. The book of Luke chapter 21 uh, bears out the fact that men's hearts will fail them for fear, for seeing those things that are coming upon the earth. You can see that taking place right now, can't you? How that people are looking upon the events of the world and they don't know what to do. Leadership is absent. There is a vacuum of faith in our world today, even in Christendom, where we're watching those that uh, have had faith and been leaders in front of us before that have now uh, gone on to heaven and now people are looking at the situation and saying, is there any hope anywhere? The Bible lets us know in the time of great fear, there is an opportunity for you to have great faith if you will understand what the Word of God has to say concerning the last days. And here's the last one for today. We are obligated uh, to warn the ungodly of what is going to happen in the future. Listen to this passage of Scripture from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 10 and 11. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are well known of God, and I also trust are well known in your conscience. There's a mandate upon every believer, every Christian, to tell people about the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because we know what is coming ahead, it's important for us to help other people be ready for the next great event, that is the rapture of the church. I encourage you to do that today. Don't let the naysayers, the mockers, and those that would distract from the coming of the Lord distract you from keeping your faith firmly at the cross and helping other people to get to Jesus Christ in these last days. With these few points, you're understanding more of the reasons why you should study Bible prophecy. It's not complicated. In fact, the Bible says there is a blessing to those that will study Bible prophecy. 
I encourage you to do it. And you can come right back here to Prophecy Files each week and be able to learn more about what the signs, the seasons, and the events are that are pointing toward the imminent return of Jesus Christ. You do that. Share this out today. Let it be a blessing to other people. Till the next time we get together, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.